Hello students, I welcome you all to Engineers Academy. Do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve these two problems which says that the block brake is used to stop the wheel from rotating when the wheel is subjected to a couple moment MO of magnitude equals to 360 Newton meter. So this MO is equal to 360 Newton. So let me write that this is 360 Newton meter. So this is 360 Newton meter. If the coefficient of static friction between the wheel and the block, so the coefficient of static friction between the wheel and the block is 0.6, we are required to determine the smallest force phi, P that should be applied to stop this wheel. So in order to stop this wheel, we are given that MO is in the clockwise direction. So to stop it, the, the block need to apply the force on the wheel in this direction in order to stop this uh, wheel so this mo is in the clockwise direction so we have to produce the friction force need to produce the anti-clockwise moment so in order to produce the anti-clockwise moment the friction at point b on the wheel should be in this direction so let me represent that uh, friction force that friction force will be acting towards the left and let's say this is small f and this will be uh, equal to mu s n and similarly the block will apply the normal force and that normal force is let's say n b so if this is the normal force then here in this equation this n this n is also n b so i will write that this is n b so this is mu s times n b and we can say that mu s is given that is 0 0.6 times n b and similarly this if the block is applying and b on the wheel in this direction so this wheel will apply the same and b force on the block in the opposite direction like this so we will have and b force which will be acting in the upward direction and similarly if the block is applying the friction force on the wheel in this direction so as a reaction this wheel will apply the same f force but in the opposite direction so we will have that friction force here in this direction so let me show that friction force here and that is in the and this is again this will be equal to 0 0.6 times and b and at point c we have the uh, pin support so we will have cx and we will have cy the support reactions and here on the handle we have that force p so here we have that force p this is that force p and now from point C to P, this distance is one meter. And similarly from here to point C, this distance is 0 0.4 meters. So this is one meter and this is 0 0.4 meters. So this is the free body diagrams of the wheel and the handle. So now let's say if, if I consider the wheel, so in order to find that minimum force, we we need to consider the equilibrium conditions so uh, when this wheel is on the verge of stopping at that particular point the system will be considered or the system will come to equilibrium so what we can do is that to find that p minimum we need to consider the equilibrium conditions so both the wheel and the handle they are in the equilibrium so if the wheel is in equilibrium, we can say that the summation of moment about the center point of the wheel, that is the point O, that must be equals to zero. So this is that point O. And similarly, we can consider the uh, reaction forces at O. So we will have, let's say, let's say we will have OX here and we will have OY. So if we are going to find the moment about point O, this OX and this OY, they will not come into our equation since they are passing through this point O. So the, per, the moment arm of OX and OY about point O is zero. So the summation of moment about point O is equal to zero and the counterclockwise moment is considered to be positive. So as we can see that this MO is given, this is negative, this is clockwise, so this will be minus 360. Let me write that this is minus 360. And this force F, this friction force is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point O. And its magnitude is 0 0.6 this is producing counterclockwise moment, so we will write plus 0 0.6 times and b and the moment arm of this friction force from that point o is the radius of the wheel 
which is 0 0.3 so we need to multiply this with 0 0.3 so this is 0 0.3 and this is equal to 0 so now from this we can say that 0 0.6 and b into 0 0.3 equals to 360 and we can say that and b is equal to 360 divided by uh, 0 0.6 into 0 0.3 so this is uh, 360 divided by 0 0.6 multiplied by 0 0.3 so this gives us and b the normal force on the wheel at point b equals to 2000 newton so this is and b now if we consider the handle and if we apply the summation of moment about point c equals to zero since we are considering the uh, the handle in equilibrium the whole system is in equilibrium so the summation of moment about point c equals to zero again the counterclockwise moment is considered to be positive now as we can see that uh, this p is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point c so we will write plus and the moment arm of this p from that point c is one meter the perpendicular distance is one meter so i will multiply this with one similarly this uh, normal force is producing the clockwise moment about point c and and b magnitude is now known which is 2000 so we will write minus since it is producing the clockwise moment 2000 and the perpendicular distance of this and b from that point c is 0 0.4 so we will multiply this with 0 0.4 and now this uh, this is that small f the friction force it is going to produce the counterclockwise moment about that point c so this is 0 0.6 times and b so 0 0.6 times and it is producing the counterclockwise moment so we will write plus 0 0.6 times and b is 2000 and the perpendicular distance of this force from that point C is 0.05 mm. It is given here. So this small distance is the perpendicular distance of this friction force. So we will multiply this with 0.05 and this is equal to 0. So now from this we can say that P is equal to 2000 into 0 0.4 minus 0 0.6 into 2000 into 0 0.05 so now this is 2000 multiplied by 0 0.4 minus 0 0.6 multiplied by 2000 multiplied by 0 0.05 so this gives me 740 so p that minimum p required to stop the the wheel uh, which is moving with the moment of uh, 360 newton meter requires say on 40 newton force on that handle to stop it now in the second part of the problem it is said that solve problem 826 if the couple moment mo is applied counterclockwise so now in the second case the moment is acting in the opposite direction so now let me show that moment let me make it in the opposite direction now the moment is now the moment is in the counterclockwise direction so now again everything will remain the same now if the moment is in this direction now if the moment is in this direction so the friction force will be acting in the opposite direction so now let me uh, correct this now the friction force is going to act in this direction and similarly this friction force is going to act in the opposite direction so we will write that this is like this so now again if we apply uh, if we consider the whole system in equilibrium and if we apply the summation of moment about point o for this problem that must be equals to zero for the wheel so now as we can see that this is the counterclockwise moment so this 360 this will become plus so i will write the modifications are on the red color so this will become plus 3, 360 and this friction force is producing the clockwise moment so now this plus sign will become minus so now this is minus so now if if this goes to the other side it will become minus and this is also minus let me write this will become minus and this is minus 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 will cancel out everything will remain the same after this step we will have and b equals to 2000 newton
Now for the handle, if we consider the summation of moment about point C, so now the friction force is acting in this direction, everything remains the same. Now P force is again producing the counterclockwise moment and its perpendicular distance is 1 meter, so this is P multiplied by 1, so this is plus P. Now this uh, and B is producing the clockwise moment, so and B is 2000, so this is 2000 and it is clockwise moment, so we will write minus and the perpendicular distance of this and B from that point C is 0 0.4, so this is minus 2000 to 0 0.4, so these two terms will remain the same for the second problem. And now this friction force is producing the clockwise moment. So this is 0 0.6 times and B, 0 0.6 times 2000, 0 0.6 times 2000 and the perpendicular distance is 0 0.05, but now the sense will change. It is going to produce the clockwise moment. So in this case, it was producing the counterclockwise moment. Now it is producing the clockwise moment. So now this sign will become negative. So let me write that this is minus. Now on the other side of equation, this will become positive and this will also become positive. So you will have plus sign here. So now this will become plus. So now we will have, we will have greater value than this. Now since we will add this term as well. So this is 2000 into 0 0.4 uh, and then I will just write plus here. So this will become 860. So now for the first case, the minimum P force is uh, 740 and for the second uh, case, when the moment is counterclockwise, P is 860 Newton. So this is the answer for problem A26 in which MO is clockwise. And for A27, this is the answer when the moment is counterclockwise. So this is the solution of these two problems. I hope it will help you in your learning. Let me know in the comments if it helps in your learning. Do subscribe Ingenious Academy for the solution of such more problems related to Hibbler statics.